The Son of Neptune is a 2011 fantasy novel, the second book in the Heroes of Olympus series written by Rick Riordan. The story follows the adventures of amnesiac Percy Jackson, a demigod son of Poseidon, as he meets a camp of Roman demigods and goes to Alaska with his new friends Hazel Levesque and Frank Zhang to free the Greek god of death, Thanatos and help save the world from Gaia, the Earth Goddess. The book received mostly critical acclaim, won the Goodreads Choice Award in 2011, and appeared on several bestseller lists. The book continues Reardon's use of third-person narration, where chapters are from the point of view of one of the main characters, switching between Percy, Frank, and Hazel. The book was first published in hardcover on October 4, 2011 by Disney Hyperion with a cover designed by illustrator John Rocco. After an initial hardcover printing of 3 million copies, the book has since been released in paperback as well as an audiobook and e-book, and has been translated into 37 languages. Development and Promotion In an interview by Scholastic with Rick Reardon for The Lost Hero, Reardon was questioned about the whereabouts of Percy Jackson. The author hinted that the answer would be revealed as Jason's quest progressed. By the end of the book, he said that readers would have a good idea where the second book is going. On May 26, 2011, Reardon released both the cover art and the first chapter for The Son of Neptune confirming that Percy would play a role in the book. On August 8, 2011, Rick Reardon released a video giving more information about the book and its characters. The video includes pictures of a black-haired boy with a bow and arrow in his hands who was later revealed to be Frank Zhang, a blonde-haired boy holding a teddy bear later revealed as Octavian, a girl with black hair wearing gold armor and a purple cloak sitting on a throne flanked by a gold and a silver canine creature, both with red eyes, who was revealed on Rick Reardon's blog to be Raina, and another girl riding a horse named Hazel Levesque. Along with this, two chapters were released prior to the book's launch, one was put on Reardon's website and another readout by Reardon on Percy's birthday, August 18. Synopsis Go to Alaska find Thanatos and free him. Come back by sundown on June 24 or die. This prophecy is given by Mars, the Roman god of war, in Camp Jupiter. Yet, during the course of the story, the harpy Ella recites what seems to be the first two lines of the true prophecy, to the north, beyond the gods, lies the Legion of Euro unregistered trademark S crown. Falling from ice, the son of Neptune shall drown a Euro. After reciting the prophecy, Ella says, Hum. Burnt. The rest is burnt. Percy, Frank and Hazel think that Ella read the Sibylline books and that the rest of the page has been burned. So Percy and Frank, and Hazel protect Ella from the Romans who would make her a slave. Percy Jackson is a Greek demigod who has lost his memory and wandered into a Roman demigod training camp. His father is Neptune, the Roman sea god also known as Poseidon, the Greek sea god. Percy has been in the wilderness for some time under the protection of Lupa, the goddess protector of Rome. However, he has been led to Camp Jupiter by the goddess Juno who has a plan in mind for Percy. Unfortunately, he won't find out what that plan is until after he has once again proven he is a hero. Percy can't remember his past and isn't certain what his future will be. When he arrives at Camp Jupiter, he is assisted by two new friends who take him under their wing. Frank and Hazel are outcasts at Camp Jupiter. They know what it is like to be an outsider and both consider it their duty to help Percy adjust. Each also has their own demons to fight and past to overcome. Before any of them have a chance to gain their footing, they are selected to go on a quest to rescue death from the giant Elshionius who is hiding deep in Alaska. Uncertain of their skills and sure that they will not survive the trio, they embark on the test of their lives. The goddess Gaia has a plan to destroy the gods and the world along with them. She has created seven children, all of whom are giants. Each of these giants is matched to fight a god who is an enemy. Each giant has the skills to oppose one god and they can only be defeated if the gods and the demigods join forces. This is not an easy task. Percy and his friends manage to defeat the Alaskan giant and save Camp Jupiter from destruction. During their journey, Hazel and Frank become true heroes who know how to use their powers and have self-confidence. 
Percy regains his memory and helps them save the day. Major characters Percy Jackson, a demigod son of Poseidon, who is the main protagonist in the first Camp Half Blood series. He and Jason Grace have been swapped, because Hera has wiped their memories away to unite the two demigod camps. Percy is sent to Camp Jupiter, from which Jason comes from. And Percy is from Camp Half Blood. He goes on a quest with Frank Zhang, son of Mars, and Hazel Levesque, daughter of Pluto, to save Thanatos, Pluto's lieutenant and the deity of death. He succeeds and at the end of the book leads the Roman camp into battle against Gaia's forces and is made praetor by the campers. His memories are restored at around the middle of the book, as Percy drinks Gorgon's blood when he challenges Phanes. Frank Zhang, a son of Mars. He is a Roman demigod at Camp Jupiter, a camp for Roman demigods. Frank has a crush on Hazel, which he reciprocates. He is a Chinese-Canadian. Hazel Levesque, daughter of Pluto and Nico's half-sister. She had been recently resurrected by Nico from her death in 1942 at the age of 13 and lives in Camp Jupiter. She is a crush on Frank Zhang. She is an African-American demigod from New Orleans. Nico D'Angelo, Hazel's half-brother and son of Hades. Initially, he is aware of what Hera has done to Percy, and pretends he does not know who Percy is. He rescues Hazel, his half-sister, from the fields of Ashvedel, giving her a second chance. Reina Villa Ramirez Arilano, daughter of Bellona, the Roman goddess of war, and praetor of Camp Jupiter. It is found that Reina and her sister Hilla were servants of the witch Seas, whom Annabeth and Percy had killed in the Sea of Monsters. Reina goes on to Camp Jupiter, and Hilla goes to the Amazons, where she later becomes queen. Release The Son of Neptune was given a first printing of three million copies, the largest for Disney Hyperion to that point. Upon release, the book ranked number one on the New York Times bestseller list, USA Today bestseller list and the Wall Street Journal bestseller list. It was the Amazon best book of the month in October 2011. Equals critical reception equals, the novel was met with mostly positive reviews. Dana Henderson of the Seattle Post-Intelligencer called the addition of new characters refreshing and captivating, and claimed that it would make the reader to want to keep reading. Kimberly Benny and Indessa at News cited it as an emotional roller coaster, and would please both old and new fans. However, she thought the characters had flaws. The Hutchinson leader Euro Shiro S.K. Johnson wrote that the plot was confusing and the first half was not engaging, but thought Reardon should be given credit for introducing Greek and Roman mythology to a new generation. Kirkus Reviews was positive about the book, thinking that Reardon had regained his traction after spinning his wheels in The Lost Hero. Sequel the Mark of Athena was released on October 2, 2012 and The House of Hades was released on October 8, 2013 The Blood of Olympus was released on October 7, 2014. References External links The Heroes of Olympus series site from publisher Disney, Rick Reardon Myth Master at publisher Penguin Books, Rick Reardon at the Internet Speculative Fiction Database